Irving Primary School. My name is Koda Z, eight years old, from Little Ozzy from Irving Primary School. This lesson is calculus. Chapter 4, Further Differentiation. This lesson will look at these three questions. For the first question and the second question, we'll use two methods. Two methods, I will solve the first question, second method, and I will also solve the second question, first method. Okay, so the rest, I will solve it, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's start with the first question. The first method is product rule. Later you have the first derivative. So this is the first derivative. Yes. Is this correct? Yes. Okay, so for this, can I continue? Okay. So how can we continue? We can continue by... Okay, we look at this. This negative goes down. So for this, there is this cubic root x over 2 square root x. Okay. And then here is this plus. Here is this 3. And remember, this is the minus. So here is the cubic root x squared. And here is square root x. So right now, common denominator. Okay, write higher. So for the common denominator, 2 and 3. So this is 6. And these. So up here, you need to times this part, right? Right. So like this, this is a 3x. Then here, this will plus a 2x. So for this, this is actually a 5x. So for the denominator, we can actually write this as x to the power of half times x to the power of x to the power of half times x to the power of 2 over 3. Is this correct? Yes. Okay, so let's continue here. And at this place, because that when you add half and 2 over 3, it'll be extra 1, correct? Correct. So here, this is a 5 because that x to the power of 1 is the extra. And here is 6. So what is half plus 2 over 3? Half plus 2 over 3 is 5 over 6. 7 over 6, okay? okay. So for the 7 over 6, minus a 1, so this is x to the power of 1 over 6. Okay? Okay. Then, the second derivative. So, for the second derivative, 5 up here stays the same. This one will create 6. What happens? There will be an extra negative, right? Right. So, for this extra negative, and here is a 36. And remember, this is a 5 over 6. Wait, because it is a negative, so it's actually a 7 over 6. Yes. As it goes to the denominator. Correct. So this is the 7th root. Wait. Opposite. I wrote it the opposite way. It's the 6th six six root x to the power of 7. Okay? So okay. then we get our answer because okay. I was finding a second derivative. 
Second question. Second method. First question. Yes. Second method. So for the second method, we'll simplify. So this will be an x to the power of Why could it be like this? Unless you're talking about the first derivative. Okay. So this one. That is six, right? Yeah. Continue. This will be the 5 over because then the 5 stays on top. But remember, this is actually a 1 over 6, so you need another negative here. And you made the same the, mistake. You made the same mistake as me. This is 6 root. And it's here. Do you get the same answer? Correct. Okay, so next is for the second question, first method. Right? Right. This is step by step. Wait, how could this be a long E? E to the power. There's no such thing as E to the power long E. If not, it will be a 1. Quickly, continue. So this will because be I we're looking at a 2 to the power of X, so this is? 2 to the power of X. Yes. What is it? Okay, so but remember this is just the first derivative. Derivative. Now the second derivative. Wait, if you want to write two, what is a bracket?
continue. Next, we look at this part, right? Which is yes. this part. Plus, look at this part. Like those. But some parts, can you combine them? Yes. Then tell me which parts. The last part and the first part. Okay, so can you continue? Time to do. Wait a second. You put these two together, right? Can't you straight away times it to the three? Okay. Then here. The lawn, two, correct? Okay. Continue. Which is the two parts, right? Yes. Okay, so... Is that the answer? Yes. So, next, we will use the second method. Okay? Okay. Wait. So, next, we will use the second method. Okay. So this one actually is the same, right? Okay. But we can, because I already wrote the y prime over here, and this answer is x cubed times 2 to the power of x times ln 2 plus 3x squared times 2x. Do you still remember what is y? Why well, just right over here, right? Right. So for this, here, can we put it as y, which we will take it out? Can? Okay. So for this, it will be that these two no more. So here is a lawn two, and here plus. Oh. And remember, because that this is x cubed, x squared to take out. X cubed, we're sure of one x, right? So we need yes. to divide. With time So is it like this? Yes. Okay, so like this. What about y prime prime? This y will be a y prime, right? Yes. And remember about the product rule? And here's round 2 plus 3x. So for this, then we'll add. This will be the y. Round 2. Zero, right? Because it's a constant. Yes. And minus 3 over x. And remember, this x is to the power of negative 1. So actually, this is a negative. There is this 3. x will become x squared. Correct? Correct. Okay, so like this, then can we start in? Okay. So for the y prime, what would we start? We will start. Remember, y prime. Y prime, we will start. Do we start this? Okay. So if you start that one. Okay, let's try, okay? Okay. So for this y prime, this the uh, x cube.
So can I just write it over here? Okay. Okay, so... So for the 3x, this gives a 3 here, and this x is a square, right? Right. So for this, this is for the first one, right? Okay. Then this will add. We look at this part, there's a 3 and the 3, so this is a 9x. Because that this is an over x, so here is just an x. And here times 2 to the power of x. Right? Right. Then for this, the so y, we put that the same, right? Yes. Put your mic in front of you. Because that this is a minus, so this will minus here times the x, so this is a 3. 2 to the power of x. There's already a 3, what's missing? X, right? X. Yes. So for this, we look at this, anything that is same? No, no. right? So this yes. is x cubed times 2 to the power of x, ln 2, and this to the power of 2. Correct? Yes. Then we look at this part, anything the same? Okay. Anything? Okay. This is 6x squared times two to the power the thing. of x. Wait, what about this and this? Only those two. Not only those. These two? It's just that this, I put this in a different order. But it's actually also the same, right? So this is actually okay. 6. Okay, we can write this as 6 x times 2 to the power of x, right? Right? Yes. So here we get our answer. See? It's just in a different order. This part is actually here. This is here. And the last part is here. The same. Okay, so it's correct and it's because it's the same, right? And let's move on to the last question. So just take a quick look. Okay. And now can we erase? Of course. Yes. The third question is going to be quite long. It's long. Plus 
plus U V W prime. Okay? Okay. Next is that we will find the second derivative. Okay? Okay. So for the second derivative, for this, can we start here? Okay? Okay. So second derivative, can we move quick? Okay, so we look at this first term, there will come out with three terms, right? Yes. We look at the first term, we look at the first part. At first the prime now becomes a prime prime, like this. Then next is the V, correct? Yes. Next is the W. Then N, correct? Mm. Correct. We look at the second. Look at U. So this is U prime, V prime, W. Okay. Thank you, class. U, V prime, prime, W. Right? Okay. Then here is U, V prime, W prime. Then here plus, is it an N? Yes. yes. But just the last, uh, last term. Don't. Put it okay, in so front of you. Don't put it diagonal. Okay. So like this, right? Right. Okay, so let's rearrange, okay? Rearrange. Anyway, we can combine. Oh. Some. Yes. I'll show you which. So, for this, what can we combine with? This. No, it's Wait, that this. Was, oh, but I put a combi combining a This line. is for this, okay? Yes. What else? And the, this is with, okay, Correct. triangle, line, and circle. So yeah, for combine. this, two of this, then two of this, then two of that. This, right? Yes. Is there anything that we can relate this to? Let me show you whether is it like, is it like A plus B plus C and then this plus square? square. Correct. Okay. What is it? Hey, that is in the emails. Okay, so what is this? Can you tell me? I write it again, right? Write it higher. Keep it in a straight line. Okay, so it is like this, right? Yes. So for this, what did you realize? We can put U as A, B as B, W as C, right? Yes. First we look at this, A squared. Prime, two, prime. Right? Yes. Then B squared. Prime, there prime. is two, right? Yes. C squared. Prime, prime. These two. Look at A, B. A, B. Both, right? Yes. A, C. A, C. A, C. A, C. B, C, B, and C. Yes. Two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. two. We have two. Yes. yes. Actually, that means, that means yes. it will follow the pattern. That means if it, it does have an extra P, X, X, it will be another one with the A plus B plus C plus D. Okay, so actually here is a pattern, right? Yes. So tell me, this is the product, right? Yes. Product, what does it change into? Product, it will change into that plus sum, right? Plus, yes, addition. Okay, yes. Actually, we can take out the two. Also can.
Plus, this is CD. Thus, right? Yes. We will follow the pattern. This also, these three together can take out the two also. Okay. And this also can like So, there's a pattern, right? Yes. And over here, three times together is three plus. But where do we get that square? Where? Okay. Where do we get that square? I'll give you a hint. Prime, prime. Yes, correct. It's a prime Wait. prime. Because this is the second derivative, right? Okay. And so, do you understand? Yes. Interesting? Yes. Okay, so can we end here? Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.